Hi, my name is John White. I'm the author of Spooky and Spooky 2. I'm going to explain Spectrum in more detail. Spectrum is a way of transmitting many frequencies simultaneously. Um, in this particular instance, I've set a wave cycle multiplier value of 96. That means that 96 bands of frequencies are going to be above the set frequency and 96 are going to be below. The Spectrum Percentage is 100%, and I'll explain this in more detail a little bit later. I'll start the channel up, and we will see the frequencies that are broadcast. Here you'll see the frequencies that are sweeping to the right. The speed of the frequencies moving is extra fast because I have the dwell multiplier here set to 0 0.001, which is one thousandth of the standard time interval and so the sweep will be performed 1000 times faster. So back to the spectrum analyzer each line represents a frequency that's being transmitted they're all flat at 0 0.5 volts of amplitude you can see them sweeping along we have 1.4 megahertz frequency 1.6, 1.8 and 2. In this right hand side screen you see this square here, this square is the zoomed section of the spectrum analyzer that we're viewing at the moment. You can see it stretches all the way down to zero volts and it will, zoom, it will go all the way up to around 3.3 megahertz and it's all flat so every frequency gets the same amount of power. Now I wanted to show you what happens when you start playing with the spectrum settings. We will stop the channel and close the control panel so we have the ability to change these settings. What if we did something like changing the spectrum value to maybe 10%? We'll see what happens. You'll see that the waveforms changed here. We'll start up the channel and we'll see what frequencies are being broadcast. The wave cycle multiplier is still set at 96 and it's away. Now you can see here that the frequencies are now grouped very, very closely together. And what it is, it's a, going to be just 10% to the left and 10% to the right of the center frequency, which is about 1.62 megahertz. The frequency that's being broadcast is shown here. Here it's going from 1.59 megahertz. It goes all the way up to 1.66 megahertz. And you'll see the center here is slowly moving up. But you see all the other frequencies are moving in sympathy as well. And so that percentage is actually focusing the power of the generator within a more narrow band. We'll stop the generator again. We'll go, we'll go to more of an extreme. Let's say you want to go to something like a 3% spectrum. You want to give frequencies plus or minus 3% of the set value um, a roasting. We'll have a look at the spectrum analyzer and see what it puts out. Right, now you'll see here that the concentration of the frequencies is very narrow. It's only plus or minus 3% over the set value. The amplitude goes up to 3.5 volts for these larger ones, down to 2.5 for these other ones. But you see all the energy is thrown into a small window there you can see that the whole lot is moving to the right. Okay, now I want to show you something very interesting. This is utilizing one output from the generator. It's only output number one. Output two control is here. At the moment I'm using uh, the frequency of zero hertz because whatever the frequency of out one is, I times it by zero, which makes it zero and now add zero hertz. So let's play around. We'll make, there's the facility of the uh, setting the waveform for output number one. There's the output number two. I've got output number two following out one. So it's always going to be the same output waveform. So I'll change this value to something like 20%. I'm going to form what's known, well, we'll, we'll Let's see, I'll do it times 2. So output 2 is going to be twice 
the frequency is output number one. The amplitude is set in this lower line where the voltage level is equal to out one times one plus zero, so it's going to be following the same as output number one. So we'll fire it up and see what happens. As I said, output two should be twice the frequency of output number one and the same amplitude. So once it starts up, there we go, 3.2 it started, which is twice of 1.6 when this was, <laughs> well, that is, this output number two is always twice the frequency of output number one. Now if we have a look at the bandwidths, I'll zoom out so you can see it better. We have output number one down here, and we have output number two. And both of these are sweeping to the right. So if I zoom back in again so you can see closer, you can see this. these frequencies are marching to the right. Whee, that keeps on popping up. And if you have a look at output number one, which is the blue one, these are also sweeping to the right. So they're both sweeping to the right. Okay, this is where it really gets interesting because Spooky 2 has got the ability of performing negative sweeps. We already have output number one sweeping slowly to the right. What if we go and do this? Output number two frequency is the same as output number one times negative one. So it's going to be the inverse of output number two, the opposite. So it's going to be a negative frequency. Now if I put here the value of twice the termination frequency of output number one, the sweep um, value is 1.662479.167. That's very interesting. What, what I will set this to is twice that value, which is 3324958.83, if my brain serves me correctly. And so it's going to be negative that value plus twice that value. So it's going to be ending up the same value, but its sweep direction will be negative because we've got a negative component here. So let's have a look what happens. It will be low. Let's have a look. And there we have it. I'll zoom in so we can see the effects more clear. And there we have the beautiful convergent sweep. We have the blue frequency, the blue lines, which are the frequency components of the spectrum from output number one, moving to the right. And we have the red, which, is, which are the frequency components of output number two, moving to the left. And you can see it's just one beautiful smooth action. Just like a chainsaw, there's nowhere for bugs to hide. Now that is the convergent sweep. Nice and simple. Now, I'll zoom out and I'll illustrate a point again. There we have the full spectrum from... Oh, let's have a look. Is it the furthest I can go? No, I can go a bit further down. So we have now... It's harder to see, but we have two frequencies go working, moving towards each other all the time within that narrow band. And as you can recall, that narrow band was set by the spectrum percentage. If I stop that, and I put the spectrum back to 100, which is what it was at the very beginning of this video, we'll see the results of that soon. Once it loads the waveforms. And we're away. And you can see it's perfectly flat for both frequencies, 0 0.5 volts amplitude. It's hard to see what's happening when you're so far away, so I'll zoom in and we'll see in greater detail. Look at that. For every frequency from DC up to 3.2, 3.3 megahertz, we're getting this knife action. That is the power of spectrum. It's easy to set up. The details are in the manual. There's going to be a spooky 101 out shortly that will explain it in more simple terms. But that's the beautiful spooky spectrum sweep. Okay, well thank you for watching this video.